This is Paul McKenna for PT Boxing in association with the S News with me, Gary Lock and Liam Williams. How are you boys? Okay, good? Yeah, not so bad. All good. Good. Uh, fight week hit uh, to you now. You've got to get this stuff out the way, obviously, press conferences and public workouts, but uh, I'm sure you're anxious, Liam, to get in there now, and I'm sure you're more than ready. Yeah, it's been, um, you know, it's been a long time coming. I've coping down for a long time, so um, we're excited. I'm pretty sure Gary's excited as well because he knows, like, obviously the, the hard work we've done day in, day out, and um, we, we're both very keen to, you know, get Saturday night out of the way and get a really good run. Mm. Obviously, uh, as you just mentioned, Gary, and you've been over to Vegas for a couple of weeks, break the camp up as a... Uh, has that uh, felt sort of revitalising, you know, when you camp and give you that, that, that extra little bit of um, change and, uh, and... Yeah, it just keeps things fresh because we've been training for, what, like, 14 weeks now. So, I mean, come, come back and follow the gym, same gym, uh, day in, day out, can be, you know, can become boring. So, um, we went away for two weeks, very good sparring, um, you know, just, just hard training in general. So, um... It just just keeps it fresh, you know. When we come back three weeks out, still had a couple of spars left, and um, you know, just getting everything in place for this week. Mm. It's one of them fights where, you know, to box some fans, and even as uh, John and Francis have just been saying with the bookies, uh, they can't split them. It's sort of a pick and fight, 50 50 fight. Uh, what gives you the belief, and, and Gary, uh, what gives you the belief that Liam uh, has got that edge over Liam Smith? Yeah, it's just it's just a case of you know, Liam's my father and I just I've seen the guys he spars, I've seen the guys that he's he's fought, even even from a young a young amateur. He just adapts to anything that's in front of him. He's able to adapt to any situation and um, I think that's gonna be the telling you know, the telling factor on the night. Obviously, you know, look Liam's is a tough, tough fight, you know, I'm not saying in any way, shape or form that um, Liam's kind of wrong. Of course, he's not. You know, it's, it's a tough fight, and it's, it's and it's going to be a tough fight no matter what happens. But I just believe in the end, Liam's ability to adapt on the night. I think that's going to be the telling factor. Mm. And yourself, Liam? Yeah, I mean, I just I just know that I've done everything asked me. Put in the work, trained so hard for this fight. Um, and not only that, we've, we've we've worked on things which which we believe are Smith's weaknesses as well, and you know, work to my strength. So. I just, I just know we've done all our own work and we've done the hard work. Um, I'm, we're 100% ready, and you know, there's, there's no one single thing which, which I'm doubting myself on. So I'm very confident. The fact that there's people who think Liam Smith is going to win the fight on Saturday does that. Uh, when he, Liam's just been asked the same question, he said that it benefits him. When people think you're going to win, it gives him that extra drive. Same, is it the same? Same here, mate. I, when, when people tell me I'm going to lose, it gives. I believe, I believe, I believe it makes me more dangerous because you know some, somebody telling me I'm going to lose. I'm, I'm the type of person that somebody tells me that not to do so, and I, I make sure I do it. So, mm. um, yeah, just, I'm, I'm eager to prove the doubt is wrong. Do you think, obviously, with your career so far, as you've just been saying, Gary, that you know it started on the small hall and then the Heffron fight and then the Corcoran fight and every time there's been that fight where people have been thinking alright let's see how good he is he's always performed yeah. and uh, he's always at best so yeah I mean the, the, the one you can put your um, you can make it as, a, as an example is when he fought Chris Carswell I mean Chris Carswell people would look back at that fight now and think ah you know, he was, but he'd been the distance with Michael Sorrow Ooh. Christian Yonak not Christian Yonak Damian Yonak and Brian Rose I know Brian's not a massive puncher but he did really well in that fight he got cut early on Ooh. it was a horrendous cut and the blood was dripping down into his eyes he showed you know real steely resolve and um, he went the distance with all those guys and, and Liam sort of wiped them out in two rounds and I never expected that we, we thought it was a distance fight as well so that's one fight you know the Ronnie Heffron fight nobody knew that Liam he turned up and he, and he beat him very easily um, and it's just it's just other fights fights things that go back the yeah, and things he does in sparring you know the guys he spars in sparring and well, that's that's where we get our confidence from I know how good he is and you know, he's a good, good boxer good puncher and he can adapt so you know, that's, that's what makes us very confident obviously last question uh, it's for the interim WBO but uh the likeliness is that Canelo's going to vacate. I don't think he's got any plans of going back down. Uh, so the winner of this fight will be promoted to world champion. So uh, essentially, it, it is a, a world title fight. Yeah, that, that excites me. Obviously, um, 
the, the fight is the fight. It doesn't it doesn't really change anything in terms of what's in front of me. Um, you know, we we got to get that win regardless of what's on the line. Is it's another fight which we need which we need to uh, to win to move in. You know the direction where we want to go. So the, the fight remains the same. It's just a little added intensive. You know, and um, one which we. Uh, very happy to get the opportunity. All right, mate. Well, uh, listen, on that note, best of luck for yourself on Saturday and Guardian. I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.